good point. Okay, the recording, <laughs> the recording will will really start in uh, in a couple of minutes. Well, I mean, everybody can, you guys can't see my charts right now, but the recording is showing my charts right now. Um, anyway, this morning we had a few trades. It was it was a really sideways market this morning, um, in you know, in in the trading that we were doing. Okay. Um, I'm gonna grab the charts here and then I'll explain the sideways market. All right, give me just a second. This is gonna be a funny recording on the recap um, because all my screens just went purple and now they're coming back. All right, so you guys should have everything now. You should be able to see everything. All right, um, anyway, this morning we had, I'll give the results first, so you can see that we had plus nine ticks on the YM. We missed a couple trades there. We had minus 12 ticks over here on the ES. We actually went short over here right at the close of the morning session. Um, and that trade would still be live if I didn't. I moved my stop up um, right up above this level right here. And that trade would still be live if I hadn't done that. Um, the risk was up here, up here. And the target was right here. So that trade would have been going now for over over a half an hour, about 40 minutes. Um, we'll go through the trades that I did take, though, okay? Uh, we didn't have anything in the early morning. You know, from the 9, 9.30 to 10 o'clock, we didn't have anything in there. Um, the BBC was inside the box pretty much the whole time, or we didn't have a bubble on the bottom. Um, over here, this wasn't a trade right here. We did have the bubble, and it was the first pullback, but we didn't have a trade because of this area right here, okay? The next one that happened along was right here. We had the bubble right here. It pulled back up. We shorted the BBC. Um, price moved in our favor over here, and I moved my stop up to break even, and I got out of break even right there. All right, now price went back inside the box here. I did something in the morning session that I don't normally do, and I, I actually made a mistake doing it. Um, the, you know, in the in the partners meetings for the past couple of weeks, we had been. Um, we had been going through all the all the different things that all the partners are doing and what's working for them and what's not working for them. And I took a trade that one of the partners normally puts on, but I did it wrong. And I ended, I ended up losing eight ticks on it right here. Okay, that's why I marked it with a different color than I normally use. All right, um, it was a trade, it was a non-CFRN, we'll say, trade that I took, um, but it didn't work out because I did it wrong. Had I done it properly, um, well, I wouldn't have taken any trade at all had I been doing it properly. I wouldn't have done anything at all right there. It didn't you know, it didn't set up for him, and it didn't set up for us. The next trade that I took was that last one that I explained to you. We pulled back here. We had a nice bubble and pulled back to the BBC right here. Um, I had moved my stop up to minus one point once the thing had really tried to really tried to get down to the target over here, and I thought it was going to go. It still hasn't done it, and it was still struggling with this. So I ended up losing four ticks on that. That's what put me down 12 ticks over here on the morning session. Um, now the YM, I missed a couple of trades on the YM this morning, but I did take one trade, okay? Um, this is the one trade that I took right here. We had the bearish cross and a pullback up to the BBC. I had seven ticks risk on it and I was looking for it to get down to the MA1 right over here, which it did do. Um, that's where I took my profit. So I got nine ticks profit on that one right there at the MA1. Um, after it went down to the MA1, put in a lower swing, there was right here a divergence trade set up. Once price pulled back up and came back and closed below the MA1 when we had full divergence right here, we could have shorted right here with a 10 by 15 bracket on, and I'm not sure if that would have worked out or not. Um, the other possible entry opportunity was right here after we hit the BBC here and we started to uh, fade off it. Um, the first pull back up to it right here was an opportunity we could have uh, we could have shorted. This one down here I wasn't looking to do. Okay, going right into the zone, I wasn't looking to take any trades down here. Some of the partners in the room did take those trades, and they did make money on them. But I did not, and I did not. So that is where that puts us. Um, let's see, we have minus 12 ticks here, plus 9 ticks here. And that was our morning. Um, on the options side of things, we didn't trade anything yesterday. We didn't put on any options trades. I was looking yesterday at the end of the morning session... I was looking at the 1180 puts, okay, for the for all the partners. I was looking at the 1180 puts, but I said we had to close down below um, the weekly trading zone that's uh, that was down at 1187, 1188. 
So once we get down below 1187, 1188, then we can look at the 1180 puts. That never happened, as Dwayne showed you in his um, in his recap just a few minutes ago. I'll show you guys here. Uh, we that was yesterday afternoon, um, right about here. I was saying if we break down below this level right here, then we'll start looking at the 1180 puts. Um, it did not get down below there, and as a matter of fact, it went all the way back up here to this zone up here. Okay, when it went up to that zone it started to fade off it and and that's what it's doing right now so I'd be looking for it to get down here to the line in the sand for the next stop at 1204, 1204 quarter and then I I honestly I would I could see it going all the way back down to the zone at 1187, 1188 alright by the end of the day right now the Dow is uh, where did Dwayne say it was? The Dow is up 61 points right now but it was up quite a bit more than that at one point clearly um, and that's that's what we have going on. That's what's going on here right now. All right. Um, that is the recap for today. Did I give the date and all that? I'm not sure I did because I missed things up so bad right at the beginning. Um, it was Friday, October 14th, 2011. All right.